single chapter in the Skyblue Studios tutorial series. Upon receiving multiple reports from viewers of ill-made logic in the Smooth Crouching Advanced system, it was discovered that a certain combination of nodes was ill-conceived and led to multiple problems with the system. In this bug fixing and improving tutorial, we will fix this issue and increase the effectiveness of the system also. So if we go into our player, here is the source for the problems here with the tracing to see if there's anything above us. Now currently, if we, if we go back into our map and press play, if we go over here, this is, I'll just put this here for example, uh, there's multiple problems but this is one of them. If we fall down here, we can crouch but we can't uncrouch. And that is one symptom of the issues with this. That is being caused because within this logic here, we are, when it's below zero, we are shooting a laser, if you want to call it that, a ray cast down below us and seeing if there's anything below us instead of above us. So what we're going to do is we are just going to uh, delete a couple of these variables. So we don't really need the break vector anymore because we're going to just split it up here. So if we just get rid of all the uh, connections there, we go split it. We also don't need the up vector because we're not... Do up will always be up. We don't need um, the character's up vector. We do need these things, um, but we don't need it in their current form. So we need to get this and we need to times this by 2. Because what we were doing is we were uh, minusing, we were getting the center of our character when we were crouched, then we were adding our full standing height onto that. So we were we were making ourselves one half basically times taller than we were, and then we were adding that onto our current location as well. So we were like doubling it, it was creating a logarithm and it wasn't working properly. So if we now have, we are now going to get the actor's z value, and oh, I don't need this too and we minus the crouched half height, this will give us basically our feet. Now we have our feet, then we need to add our standing half height twice. So that will give us our full standing height. And this will return where our head would be um, if we're standing up. I'm just going to move this over to make it look nicer. And that's really all we need to do for this. But we can make this system better instead of just fixing it by replacing this line trace with a sphere trace. So if we just go sphere trace, so this, this works in very much the same way, it will return the first thing it hits, except that instead of using just a single line in whatever direction with whatever magnitude, this creates, basically it creates an ellipsoid. So it creates a capsule. So our player is a capsule, um, and in most games and everything they are, so using this, we can make a really long one that it basically simulates what our character's size would be. We can see if we would fit into our position. So what we want to do is we want to set the start location. We'll split that. The X and Y are, of course, our current position. And our Z value, we want it to be uh, our feet, except we want it to be our feet minus our radius. So if we just go into our capsule component, and in the details, you'll see our capsule radius is 34. So what we want to do is we want to get this, our feet, and we want to add 34 onto it. And we'll make that our start set. In our radius here, we'll also make this 34, because our character is 34 units wide, or a radius of 34. Our end, we'll split that, we'll make it the x value, our x value and y value, and we'll make the z value, the our head, minus our radius. So if we get our float minus float, we minus 34. Let me make that our end. and We'll, we'll just move this up there so it, it looks a little bit nicer. Uh, and then we'll connect our previous stuff up to here. So we can do this really easily. If you hold down control whilst clicking on something, you can drag all of those connections. So we'll just move them all up here. And the outputs, we will do the same. Move that up there. And that return value there. Now we can delete that, and we have just created our 
a fixed and improved system. So you'll see if we compile and save and go back to our map and press play, if we jump over here again, we can crouch, we can uncrouch and everything is absolutely A-OK. -okay. Jump normally, you can sprint, everything is fixed and yeah, it is improved as well. Uh, this allows us to check not only above us um, with a single line, but also make sure that our whole play can fit there, which stops a bunch of issues that you could encounter. Say, for example, if you're standing on a mountain and you try and uncrouch, your character might, when uncrouching, might like glitch into the mountain or something um, due to collision um, colliding inside the mountain. But with a ray car, uh, using a sphere trace instead of a line trace, we can make sure that all of us will fit. Um, yeah, so that concludes this tutorial on UE4. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye.